Hey, Crazy Will here today. Today we're going to be talking about how to change the Elegoo Mars Vat filament. How hard is it? Stay tuned, we're going to find out. Hey, Crazy Will from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, I'm going to do another video on the Elegoo Mars Vat actually today. So I've been doing a lot of prints and my vat looked like this. Pretty gross. Pretty bad. It had a puncture hole in it. I couldn't print on it anymore. One of the things that I read about over and over again, that the filament that's in this vat eventually goes bad and you gotta change it. And it looked like a nightmare. So today I'm gonna replace it and I thought I'd take you guys along for the ride and see how bad it is. Apparently you gotta stretch this thing over and remove a lot of screws. So we're gonna try it out today and replace that filament. Now my love Lovely wife, as she does, she spoiled me again, got me filament liners for Valentine's Day. She obviously knows the way to my heart. You can catch these on sale, they're usually 30 bucks. My wife, the shopper that she is, found them for $25.99, I think, and it was for five of these sheets. And if you open it up, it comes with five sheets, and they're wrapped in plastic. Well, we can give you a, just like a filament sheet. I don't, I don't know what you want from me here. So we're gonna get on this workbench. I'm gonna shoot it on the overhead camera and show you how to do it. So let's get started, shall we? All right, so we're gonna start this project. You just need the Allen key. It was actually in with the screw packet. It's not the one that's actually for the leveling of the bed. It's actually its, a, its own connection. So the first thing we're gonna do is take these off. So I'm just pushing down on this and it looks like it released it. Push on it like this and that will lift it up and out of the way. Get this old crusty one out of here. And this looks like the fun part, which I'm going to clean this because I made a disaster out of that. So I'll do that off of camera. We're going to take this apart now. So we'll put these screws off to the side. You got a tool that came with it. It's this little screwdriver thing here. Thank God they gave you a screwdriver for that. I'll take these out. I don't know if I said this already, but this is my first time doing this, so it is going to be a little bit of a challenge for me. Let's see how this is going to go. That moment that you're like, did I just screw up my whole printer? Or am I going to have to buy one of these online? Will it just be easier? <laughs> mother but I would seriously consider cleaning every bit of this before we put it back together but that is my old plastic plate lovely so I'm gonna clean this up all right so I scrubbed the hell out of that stuff it's got instructions on the back here but there's five of them in here I'm just gonna grab one of them I hope all right, so apparently we need to take off the liner first, which I don't know how I feel about that, but wow, this is probably as clear as you'll ever see my print bed. <laughs> so we're going to put it right here, all right? And then we're going to sandwich it between these two. I cleaned the crap out of this stuff. All right, so that's basically what we're doing here. I guess now we just go in and start screwing. <laughs> I guess I'm going to do the corners first. Okay, so this is actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be so far. As far as putting in the screws, I thought this was going to be the hard part. But this is actually pretty darn easy. You just start screwing. Now, just a quick note, so you could see there's other holes. You could see where the actual threads are opposed to the holes. So make sure you don't put screws into those holes. I didn't have any problem with that. I, I noticed right away there's a divot on the side. Like I said, this is becoming a, a lot easier than I thought it would be. And I'll show you what I'm talking about as far as the holes. As you could see, like that hole right there, you can see there's no real threads there. So you know that's an open hole. So we'll go to the one that has the threads and the recess in it. And there you go. I mean, 
this is a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. I mean, saw so on forums people talking about it, and it's this nightmare of a project. And I'll be honest with you guys, so far, this is pretty easy. <laughs> screw there tighten that up the next thing i gotta do is cut around the edges and that should fit right back in so let's do that next all right so i'm gonna try this with an exacto blade on the actual elegu mars box <music> That's a little loose. It said not to make it too tight because once we put it on this thing, the screws down. I guess the next step here is to put these screws in. I think I'm gonna do one on each side to try and get this. It doesn't really tell you. All right, so I got that side down. Tighten this down. just pushing them in breaks the plastic and gets it started so that's what I've been doing and I've been tightening these down until they can't move no more so and as I tighten other ones the other ones go down so I just been kind of going around as I tighten other ones up I see what what's what what's going on so so far so good so that one's tight now you can see that this one's up a little bit I'm gonna go for that one tighten that down just tighten all these down really good don't want it leaking I don't want to break it either but don't think it's gonna hurt it feels like it's kind of stretching it out <laughs> all right i think we're done that looks good wow it's like when i first bought it that looks amazing so it should be tight like a drum that's pretty good well i'm gonna clean it off and i'm gonna go try and do a print with it so that's the process guys i was surprised it actually wasn't that bad it's nicely fit in there it's transparent once again so now i can continue on printing and as you can see behind me i got quite a few things that i'm working on primed and ready for paint i would highly highly recommend and i'll try and find the link and leave it down below to print yourself out one of these this has become really helpful just letting you know and another piece of advice for those who are using the elegoo be careful with your resin with lights i had to change the light in that one because this led light can actually cure the resin so i did not know that i had it hanging up in my box that's why basically i had to change the filament because I accidentally baked everything right on to the vat filament which was a really stupid move on my part but I thought this was just a regular light I didn't think it was shooting UV another quick tip for this video real quick guys because I have a lot of them working with the Elegoo Mars and if you clicked on this you probably would want to know this the dollar store is your best friend I can't believe stupid things that you don't realize that you can buy case in point Use this as a sheet to work off of. Really convenient, all the mess everywhere. Clean everything right on this and can transfer it back and forth. It holds my spatula, holds everything else. A buck. The light bulb, that's in there. A buck. A dollar. Four paint holders. A dollar. A metal tray. You can use this to put your tools on so you're not messing up your table. Tupperware containers, all different sizes, a buck to put alcohol in and soak your prints or to store your art supplies like I have that one back there. Dollar store is your friend when it comes to this. You were trying to do it the cheap way, dollar store. Go through there, get creative. I did. I even made my own wet paint thing from the dollar store. Now this was not from the dollar store, this was actually from my wife's kitchen. But the paint's still wet. This was a cutting board from the dollar store. The sponges that are keeping the paint wet. Face scrubbers from the dollar store. Super glue, two for a buck, dollar store. So the dollar store is your friend. Sorry I added that in at the end. Really wanted to share some extra tips for anybody that is buying all this stuff. That's it for me guys. Make sure you like and subscribe if this helped you in any way. And remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it.
later guys dollar 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 bill y'all I know what you're thinking crazy wills tech shows over what do I do now real simple guys you hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button and then you check out my other videos it's not over I made a lot it's been a good year